In our first video, we'll start AutoCAD by double-clicking on the AutoCAD 2012 English icon on the screen. AutoCAD begins to start up. I can say OK to whatever comes up first just to get, the, get AutoCAD up and running, and then we'll make some changes to that. One of the first things we want to do is we want to open up the menu bar across the top. Currently it says Home, Insert, Annotate, Parametric. To the right of this drop-down that says 2D Drafting and Annotation, we have a drop-down here, a little arrow that's kind of hidden, and it says one of the choices is Show Menu Bar. Let's click on that. And now we get a new menu bar that starts out File, Edit, View, Insert, Format. We'll use this for several settings. We can see that we have our ribbon across the top. We have the menu bar we just talked about. At the very top, we have the ability to open new files, or start new files rather, open existing files, save and save as, and print. Down at the bottom, we have the status bar, and it's got the numbers down here. It also has a few things in the status bar we want to change. If the grid is currently on and we don't want it on, we can click on this third button from the left called D Grid Display. There's another one over here called Polar Tracking. I want that one on. Uh, we'll talk about object snap settings as we go along, but there's one here that's called Dynamic Input. Looks like a little plus sign with a box below it. If I turn that off, we want to make sure that we have that off for the rest of the things to work correctly. Another thing we want to do is in the command line, we want to type in startup and hit enter. That's all one word, no spaces. When we hit enter, anytime we type anything in in AutoCAD, we have to hit enter to finish typing. So we typed in startup. If yours has a value of zero, you want to make sure you type in a one and enter startup one. What happens with that is that when we start a new file, and again we can click on new or go to File and New, it opens up this dialog box here, which allows us to start from scratch, which gives us the choice of Imperial or Metric. We can also choose from a template. We create our own template uh, in class. We have an ACAD.DWT. Remember that our template files all end in DWT, and uh, the ACAD 3D DWT we'll get into later in the class. There's an ACAD ISO DWT, and this is the one for metric. We could also use wizards, but this is not uh, something we're going to spend any time on in this class. So if we just start from scratch, let's say we wanted to start with Imperial, we would then just say OK, and that's our new startup. So that's all the settings that we need for initially getting started with AutoCAD. We'll build on these as the class progresses.